welcome back this is part two of my makeup haul let's get right into it so this is the rimmel stay matte foundation um i think this was the darkest shade that i saw on walgreens i have no idea if they have darker shades on their website some of these brands are known for not going past a certain skin color but all i can say is i like this foundation it was really affordable it was like six dollars um it looked really good on my face it was matte um so hey if they have darker shades and you're interested in a matte foundation that's affordable check it out go on our website look and see if they do have darker shades than this one and this one was in caramel i believe so yeah i did love this foundation all right so this is the maybelline loose powder my favorites and medium i am afraid of translucent powders so i don't really go for those that much um there are a couple other powders that i want to try i want to try sasha buttercup i want to try beauty bakery i also want to try um the darker laura mercier powder also um so i will keep you guys updated when i purchase those products and of course we will test them out and do a video on them so let's see what the next product is okay so i think this is a pressed powder by black radiance it is in milk chocolate um this reminds me of the um the chocolate soleil bronzer um just for you know darker tones um i really do like it it's super pigmented you know kind of like the other pressed powder that i have in toffee that i use to contour and stuff so i use this to kind of bronze my face up and it looks wonderful and i like it and it was really affordable and i will definitely buy it again when i hit pan <laughs> This is another product that will always be a repurchase for me. This is the e.l.f. Um, eyelash and Brow Gel. I use both for my eyebrows. Um, it's like 2 or $3 um, at Walgreens. That's usually where I get it. Um, and I always get this product because it works and it's affordable. So why not? So this is a very hyped mascara that I've seen on YouTube. This is the Colossal Big Shot. And I absolutely understand the freak why it gets so much hype because my eyelashes were on point with this mascara this is definitely going to be a holy grail for me like I, since i've gotten it i have been using it every single time i put makeup on so yeah i'm gonna run through this fast i can feel it already <laughs> so this is another repurchase for me this is the wet and wild photo focus concealer um i decided to get one a little closer to my skin tone the other one that i have is a couple shades lighter than um this one and i already know i like this product i know it has no flashback it looks really good um so yeah there's not much that i can say but that's clearly why i bought it again so yeah let's see what the next product is so this is the fit me the maybelline fit me um concealer this is in 30 um it is perfect match for my skin tone sometimes you need those concealers that match you perfectly because you get like a flawless look under your eyes and i really do like how this works with the other fit me products so it'll always be a bop for me so this next product is the master strobing liquid in 200 medium nude glow it is super pretty i should have swatched it for you guys i don't know what the heck i was thinking but you guys will see it i have used it underneath my foundation it looks great i have used it on top of my foundation it looks great um so yeah this is definitely something that i'm going to use and probably purchase again because it's super pretty so the next product is in uh elf pencil I was kind of disappointed about this pencil. I mean, it's the perfect shade. It's pigmented. But the way that the tip is actually made, now it looks like a freaking crayon. So it's like I would only be able to use this product to fill in my eyebrows. If I was trying to, like, snatch my brows and line them up, like, I'm not doing it with this product because it's, like, damn near bald on the top. It looks like a damn bald point pen. So I don't think I really would purchase this product again. I'll use it because I spent my money. But, um, yeah, I probably won't buy it again unless they change the way they make their pencil. Because I really just, I'm not feeling it. So, I am trying to figure out when I miss that e.l.f. came out with uh, matte liquid lipsticks. But when I tell you that they're actually bomb, they're bomb. They're only like 2 or $3. Um, 
that color that I am going to swatch for you is called Berry. Berry or So Berry or something. So Berry Berry. I don't know. Something in that range. But I love berry colors. If you know me, I like berry colors. I, br I like brown colors on myself. Those are my favorite. So I'm going to show you really quick what the swatch looks like. And it dries down so fast and it don't go nowhere. So look at you, Elf. I am proud of y'all. That is what's up. So this is the Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline. These are amazing as well. Um, when I tell you that I tried to use a Sephora micellar water to get this off my lips and it wasn't going nowhere, this is in the color Protection, a brown color like I said that I'm in love with. I'm going to show you real quick. I had to use um, the micellar water by uh, Garnier. Is that, is that what's by? I can't even remember. But the waterproof one because this would not come off at all like with anything else so just a warning these are really matte and they don't go nowhere like for real for real this is the gold bar highlight by wet n wild i was pretty sure i would never ever find this product in the stores because it's supposed to be sold out because it's limited edition um it reminds me of sunlight in Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, um, the Sun Dip one. Um, it has like a little mirror on the side, which is really cute. I should have showed you guys, um, but I wasn't thinking for some reason. But yeah, I'm sorry that I'm even showing you guys the product because you probably won't be able to find it anywhere, but I still wanted to share it with you guys. So this is a little eyeshadow palette from Black Radiance. Um, I have only tried the turquoise type of color um it is really pretty um they're the shades are actually pretty pigmented and i think it was only a few dollars to be honest black radiance is really um affordable so i like that and you know they help us um darker complexions out with their shades and all that good stuff so this is a palette that I got from Walgreens. It's by Rimmel. It's a Magnifies color edition. Um, this was like an $8 palette. It comes with a little shitty brush that I'll show you. Um, but I was really intrigued by the colors. When I swatched it, they they were real pigmented. And I was I, I haven't been able to try the, the palette as of yet. But I will. And I'm really excited too because the pigment is on point. And for $8, you can't beat a, let's see, one, two, three, 12 pan eyeshadow palette. So I see you, Remo. I see what y'all trying to do. Where are the other additions at, though? Are there other additions? I wonder. So this is one of my favorite products out of this um, whole haul that I'm showing you guys. This is the Black Radiance uh, Contour Palette. Um, I am in love with the Sculpt Shade. It is absolutely beautiful on my skin tone. It gives me such a bronzy look. The highlighter is beautiful. The contour is super pigmented. So all the all these shades are super pigmented. So just be careful. Make sure you don't go hammo because you're gonna have to do a whole lot of blending. But um, I'm with it. I am with this palette all the way. I wish it had a mirror, but at the top it kind of shows you where you're supposed to be. You know placing the contour the scope the highlighting all that good stuff okay so we're gonna move on to mac this was um on sale a limited edition they were just getting rid of the rest of these um this was uh fix plus and coconut lavender and rose i haven't tried the original fix plus but i felt like this was for 12 dollars, and the full size fix plus was like 28 or 26 i can't remember the price um but i wanted to try these out first just to see if i kind of like them in general and then i will go back and get a full size um just because i just was unsure about if i was gonna like them or not so yeah okay so this is the um pro concealer palette um i decided to get this because it was actually cheaper than just buying one pro concealer um so yeah i decided to get the whole little palette it has ochre in it which i've been wanting ochre to or ochre for my lids and then it has the orange corrector in it also which i will definitely use um so yeah i just thought this was a better bang for my buck um 
instead of just getting one of the concealers then I kind of have like a range of different concealers to use so yeah okay so this is the uh, MAC face and body um, foundation I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this one or the studio fix I will go back and get the studio fix I saw bougie vintage use this on her channel and I really liked how it looked on her so I wanted to pick it up this is in C7 um, so yeah I will go back and get the studio fix at some point but I'll let you guys know how I like that foundation so on to Sephora these are some Sephora samples this is decadence by Marc Jacobs I will be most definitely buying a full-size bottle of this because it smells amazing if you like more um, muskier types of scents this will be the one for you it smells so good oh my gosh so this is um, bare minerals mineral veil powder um, I definitely want to try this with my um, bare mineral foundation you guys may have seen the video if you haven't I'll I card it or I'll just link it um, in my description box um, yeah I do definitely want to try it with that foundation and see how I like it see if it's worth getting you know the normal size this is like the weirdest sample that I've ever seen this was a um, NARS matte liquid lipstick um, I'm not a big fan of the color um, it looked good in the center of my lips um, I do like the formula though so I'll probably try um, to pick up some of the other shades that they have but this one just wasn't for me but um, yeah I'll just show you really quick what it looks like and then we'll move on to the next product she told me her name was Billie Jean And she calls the scene And every head turned with eyes that dream to be Okay, so this is a sample of the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Um, I have the NYX Glitter Glue, or whatever it's called. Um, maybe I'll do a comparison video to just show which one is better, which one lasts longer what glitter adhered better and then you know we'll go from there so um i did forget to show you guys a product that i got from walgreens this is a jumbo bonnet that i'm going to show you it is really uncomfortable but the only good thing about the this bonnet that i like is if i'm wearing rollers to bed or something and i want to protect my head this will fit i'll be able to put all the rollers and my head underneath this thing and it'll keep it protected overnight so that's the only thing I like maybe I'm just not used to it yet and maybe that's why it's uncomfortable so this is the Marc Jacobs um, it's a sample um, shameless foundation in deep it pretty much looks like it's my skin my skin tone so I'll see and I'll let you guys know if I'm gonna pick up a um, full size of this foundation so these are the Sephora Illuminating Drops. Um, I think this is on sale for like $8. Um, I'm not sure what the shade is, but um, I'm going to pull it out and show you guys what, um, you know, it looks like on the tube or whatever. It's a really, really pretty color. Um, when I do use it, I'll try it underneath and on top of my foundation. And we'll just see if the glow is real and see if it's something that I should purchase again or if I should just you know use it and be done with it so this is um a sephora cleanser it's in coconut um it was on sale for like four dollars i wanted to try it out um i have not used it as of yet but i will let you guys know what i think of it when i do and let's just go ahead and move on to the next product so um these are skincare products by a brand called the ordinary um i discovered these products on sephora very affordable um skincare products both of these products were under six under six seven dollars um so this is just a moisturizer it feels really good on the face adds great hydration the next product that i'm going to show you really quick is um a serum by the same brand um it has such a cooling effect when you put it on you put on the serum first and then you put on heavy cream after that's what it says on their packaging and i do want to go and try more of their um skincare because it's super affordable and i've only seen it's available on shop hush and on sephora online if you guys were curious so i'll just show you what the 
serum bottle looks like and then we'll move on. So, um, the, of course, you guys know I picked up this Fenty Beauty Body Lava. This is in Who Needs Clothes. I haven't been able to try the product out as of yet because my the weather where I live is just not cooperating with the months. <laughs> so, um, I want to show you guys what the bottle looks like because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then I'll show you the packaging for the Fairy Pom Pom. I wasn't going to open that one on camera just because I'm going to do a separate video for those two. Um, and yes, I have seen the video of them cutting it open. And it was really cringy for me to watch because I hadn't received my product as of yet when I saw the video. Um, but um, I get that these products aren't as affordable as they could be, but it's completely up to you guys if you guys choose to purchase these products. I chose to purchase them because I wanted them. I saw them, I fell in love with them, and it is what it is, and now I have them in my possession, and I wanna do a video for you guys. So this is the Fairy Pom Pom packaging. Like I said, I'm not gonna open it on this video, but you guys will see. I'm sure you guys have already seen, you know, videos of what these products look like and how they work but I always want to do my own video um, because that's just what I choose to do so this is the indie brand that I was talking about the crayon case this is the palette box of crayons um, this is what the packaging looks like when I purchased it I know the packaging is actually different now um, if you know who super scent is she was real popping around the vine days and now she has her own cosmetic line which I'm super proud of her for because it's really dope um, the pan sizes are really huge um, in this palette um, and you're getting your money's worth this $30 palette um, so I'm gonna show you the brushes that I got also which are super cute they look like number two pencils and I was dying for them when I saw them I want to purchase more off her website but a lot of her stuff is you know not in stock most of the time just because she's such a small brand and she has a high demand where a lot of people want her products so um that could be the downfall of this brand but to be honest the products are very cute and she's putting a lot of effort into these products and i can see that and it's awesome so how adorable are these freaking brushes i was just in love with them for some reason because they're so unique um and yeah so i had to pick them up i can't remember i think these were 18 dollars, and you get seven different um eyeshadow brushes so just keep that in mind she does have other brush sets on her website which are like more for your face so you know just go on her website and check it out so we are going to look at the pinch me box now um I skipped the coupons because they're unnecessary, but I wanted to show you guys these stinking ass Skittles. I don't know whose idea was to make these. These are called the Sweet Heat Skittles. I don't know who's going to eat these because I'm not going to eat them. I'm really probably just going to throw them away, but then like I don't want to because maybe maybe I'll find someone that wants to, wants to eat them, but I sure as hell ain't eating them because that's just not my type of candy. I'm sorry. So I always love to get samples of shampoo and conditioner. So this is called Damage Slayer um, by Dark and Lovely. Um, the treatment had a very tingle type of feel to it. The shampoo lathered up pretty well. Um, and the conditioner had some decent slip to it. Um, because it is for damaged hair, I'm going to assume... This wouldn't be like, you know, a product that I'll probably purchase just because I don't really have damaged hair. But um, if you do, you may actually see results with this product because my curls were pretty defined after I used it. So I always love to get samples because you just never know what you might like. And um, this is an easy way to see if you like it without spending too much money. 
Okay, so this product is supposed to be an allergy relief type of product. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, but um, it's called Day Clear. Um, so yeah, it's just like a liquid form of allergy relief. Um, I got allergies. Um, we have allergies in this house, so you know this will be a product that we'll probably use. This is supposed to be one dose, so I don't know if you know we would actually need to take the whole thing but um it is worth a try when you have allergies you just never know so this is definitely a product that i'll be purchasing it has a coupon on it i'll definitely be using that this curl type of cream i really like it um all of either nyc's products smell really good i have tried other products because i've gotten samples um my curls loved this like my curls were not dry they were really defined and my hair smelled really good um so yeah i'm definitely gonna get a full size bottle of this because i i love the sample i'm not even done with it yet and i'm i'm loving it okay so this is a makeup forever hd foundation sample um i think this is in y445 um and i think that would be the color that would match me pretty well um i've been wanting to try this foundation for a while uh, but you know have actually forgotten and i've tried other things um so if i like this sample i will definitely go and buy um the full size bottle so with foundations to me are just like um, hair products I like to try samples first to see if I like it and then I'll go ahead and spend my my hard-earned coin on getting the full size so that's just how I look at those two kind of products so this will be the end of this second part haul video um, once again I want to apologize to you guys for being gone and also apologize for this video being so weird and me having to do a voiceover um so i understand that it's probably really cringy because it was for me so if you get a chance please subscribe to my channel uh, like some videos while you're here comment on some videos while you're here let me know what you want to see i will put my social media in my description box so you guys can follow me there if you want um and I'm actually exhausted, if you can hear it in my voice. So um, I will be done with this video. I'm going to stop talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Um, one more thing. If you guys have videos that you want to see, please let me know. Give me a comment. And I'll do my best to push those videos out for you. And um, thanks for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, if you haven't subscribed already, Thank you for watching anyway, um, and if you are subscribed, please hit that notification bell so you won't miss when I post a video. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles noodles.